All right, well, first up this morning, the American Girl doll has become one of the biggest names in the toy industry by making dolls that represent our country's heritage and culture. And frankly, kids go crazy for them. We actually have three at my house. You do? Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. uh, they're adorable. Well, now your child can be a part of a real-life American Girl fashion show that benefits a good cause. We're going to tell you about a casting call. So joining us now to chat about that is the fashion, about the fashion show and the fund that supports it is Colleen McLaughlin and her daughter. Is it Alana? Alana. Alana. Alana, like Hannah. Yes. Alana. Great to see you guys. <laughs> Thank guys. you so much. And you have your American doll here. What's her name? Kit. 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 Oh, yeah, that's the one. Oh, everybody loves Kit, right? Okay. And I think Kit looks a lot like you. I mm -hmm. was going to say, is that the doll? Because don't they make American Girl dolls that resemble the owner? They do. Okay. But she decided she looked more like Kit, so we just got Kit. That's a good plan. <laughs> I like Kit's glasses. Yeah. <laughs> very very often, dolls are just so so cute, and I think you're actually cuter than your doll. So thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about this casting call. I mean, this is exciting for young girls. What age girls can enter to be part of it? We're actually looking more for sizes so size 6x okay. and size 10 and that can be any ages from 5 all the way up to probably 12 depending so those are the two sizes costumes that they send us from American Girl 6x and a 10 yes okay. all the way through 10x okay well what is the show all about what is it benefiting and, and when is it give us all the details so um, we started this last year was our first inaugural event for the um, peanut fund which is the pediatric neurosciences unite together for children's hospital so it's a fund over there for their neurosciences department and we raise money for different kinds of technology and equipment that they need to help the children that are in the department get better faster stay in the hospital less time feel less pain and all of those kinds of things so we're really excited about that the actual event is on October 4th at the Hyatt Regency downtown okay and our casting call is this Saturday out at WCTC um, the Anderson Center that we're is really so excited cool. yeah and what we see on the runway in all these pictures are <sighs> young girls kind of walk in the runway with their American Girl doll. Yep, the American Girl costumes are come directly from American Girl and the, so do the dolls that they get to carry during the event. Um, so, But that's some of the ones that they were in. Um, you'll see the historical outfit as well as the contemporary version of that same outfit. And so that's oh, what they cute. do every year. And that they tell so you yeah. why they do it that way. It's awesome. Now, how many girls are you looking for? About 150. That's wow. a lot of girls. It is a lot of girls. We have three different shows. There'll be about 1,500 different guests um, at that time, and we have about 50 models of show that we need. That's fantastic. Okay. How many girls in the past have you had come out for a casting call? Uh, last year, we had about 120, so we have about 110 signed up already, so we're still looking for about a 40 to 60 more so that we can really get kids who look and want to be a part of it and are excited to be on stage. And, and I bet they love it. Oh, they love there. it. And they were so great about practicing and just being involved and helping other kids. It was wonderful to see kids helping kids which is yeah, always yeah. fantastic. I think the important thing too that I read, uh, they have to register. You yes. cannot accept any girls just walking in day of. Right, because we have a certain amount of people that are coming in and appointments, so they could go to the peanutfund.org and register. There's a big button that says register here for the casting call. And it's Pediatric Neurosciences Unite. Un Unite T together. Together. Okay. Yes. And ha have you personally benefited from those services? Or do you know people who have? We um, started that because Alana and her older sister Kaylee have something called Chiari malformation, which is a neurological birth defect. And so we have unfortunately been through the neurosciences department almost the entire thing um, neurology, neurosurgically. We've been there uh, for three different surgeries. We've been through PT, OT. I mean, just pretty much hit the entire. Oh. <laughs> so You've we been still a lot. Lot. In Aww. that hospital. You just have this great so smile and you're adorable, but then yeah. all underneath all that, you've been through a lot that makes you a tough kid, huh? Yeah, she's a tough kid. That is awesome. Yeah. So this fundraiser is going to help raise funds for, I understand, a microscope. Yes. And how much are you hoping to raise? We're hoping to raise over 100000 to give back to the hospital for a microscope. Microscopes are expensive. <laughs> last Apparently, year, yeah. yeah. Last year we... Um, gave about $52,000 back for them to buy a laser system to go in and help take out just the bad things in the brain and not necessarily hit any good tissue, which has been really great. And they're using that over at the hospital now, which is wonderful. That so is now great. if we can get a microscope so that they can just see everything a little bit better, um, that's our hope for this year. Yeah, it seems like such a practical thing. So much money funds research, which is also very yes. important. But this is really a tool that sounds like it's helping in, in helping kids get better faster. And, and keep those hospital stays down. Yeah. Just, you know, the hospital's not a 
it's a lovely hospital. It's not but as you don't fun. really want to be there. It's being home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or being on a runway for a fashion exactly. show. Right. What a great thing for people to um, audition for if they're interested in the casting call, but then to be part of the event and go in October, yes. um, which is when you see it all come together and happen. So here's the information for the casting call. It's happening this Saturday. And again, they're looking for sizes 6X and 10. If you think the little girl in your life might fit one of those two sizes, come on out. But make sure that you register first because you have to do that online by visiting the Peanut Fund. So their website is Peanut fund.org that's a website to visit and then the event itself is happening october 4th 4th wonderful great to see you both thank, thank you, you so much, much.